Update caught wife cheating with her cousin wife claims to be a victim. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you won't miss another cheating story goes live. The last couple of days have been a regular roller coaster for me. TLDR version of my original post, I essentially discovered that my wife is and has been cheating on me with her own cousin Max for years. Actually, by the length of time this seems to have been going on it might as well be seen as her cheating on him with me. Okay, I went to a lawyer initially and after that I went straight to Max's home where I spoke with his wife. She was brokenhearted as one might expect and discussed it over the incest. We sat down for a bit and I told her also that he was bragging to my wife about how he was having unprotected sex with random internet men and that there were pictures with him with semen on his face that he was sending my wife. She insisted on seeing them despite my advice not to and she was broken. He was bisexual and was always found to be chatting up random guys. She said she allowed him to go out every so often and see a man if he felt he had to get it out of his system as she put it. She was under the impression that he hadn't done this in well over a year. When this was over I stayed the night in a hotel where I still am and talked with my mother, brother, and father. My mill called me begging me to come and talk about this, that I must have made some mistake, it's all voicemail I never picked it up. Wife tried calling me a dozen or so times I didn't answer. She sent no texts, I assume she knows I've been documenting things and doesn't want to give me any more ammo, it's what I would do in her place. At the end of the day I called her and kept it brief saying I would talk to her the next day. When I eventually came home she was a warbling mess. She tried to hug me and I told her that's over. She insisted she never cheated on me, that I must have took something the wrong way and that Max's wife must be spreading these rumors because they hate each other. It is at this point that I realize that my wife thinks I heard about this from someone else, she doesn't know I discovered their affair myself. It's then that I show her the papers I have the pics of him with semen on his face titled Yummy the picture of a huge strap on dildo titled Our Old Friend Her Speaking to him as if she is some dominatrix type, saying how he has a small dick and real power play type stuff. At point she was telling him to send he pics of himself after these men were done with him. Real stomach churning shit. I'm not a prude either, I engage in a lot of really kinky shit so it's not like she's dealing with an uptight hubby who isn't open sexually and went out for those reasons. But anyway, as soon as she realizes that it was me who discovered this and told Max's wife she goes from being weepy and sad to explosively angry complete hysterics. You should have talked to me first. She's all over everything telling everyone. This is going to ruin me. You knew she would do this. I told him to stop texting me like that. At that last statement, I absolutely exploded. I told her that I just got done reading a year's worth texts and emails and not once did she ever tell him to stop. I called her a fucking degenerate said that we both probably have AIDS now and she crumpled in on herself. Couldn't respond, just crying hard. Even still I told her that we were getting divorced. I then called her father and told him to come to my house because she really shouldn't be alone in that state. I returned to my hotel room and saw that Max's wife had been texting me. She had done some intense digging on her own and found discussions about sexual encounters they had from 2010, on fucking MySpace. She told me early on in our relationship that he once tried to kiss her at 13, while they were actually fucking at 16 or 15 or during a time where MySpace was still widely being used. I'll admit it, this seeing it went on that far back was finally what broke me. I'm not big on emotional displays but I broke down crying in front of his wife. She cried too. When that was over I took her to the lawyer I'm seeing and now one of his partners will be handling her divorce. Through all this Max has been panicking and crying trying to find out where his wife is trying to talk to me, still after all this evidence trying to ensure this is all some big misunderstanding. It turns out that Max and ex-wife live in a house owned by Max's parents and they have come down hard against their son, telling him he cannot stay there anymore, and apologizing to their dill and saying she's welcome to stay with their grandchild in that house for as long as she wants, he's basically disowned. Max's father even got it in his head somehow that Max was molesting my wife as a child and that is why she is doing what she is doing today. She is his favorite niece, basically a second daughter, so Max in effect is on the lam because his old man wants him dead. My father unprompted and wanting to help me assured me he'd pay my hotel for the week. Today I told my boss point blank no filter exactly what's happened and that I am taking two weeks to sort my life out. He remarked about how shitty his divorce was and told me to take whatever time I needed bottle fed and that he'll just tell everyone on the floor, I've got a sick parent or something, which was sweet of him, lying down in my hotel room now missing a stepson I'll probably never see again. I raised him for six years, changed his diapers, 
bottle fed him at 3 a.m., took time out of work when he was sick. Waited on him hand and foot after a nasty fall that broke his arm so his mother could sleep because she was working in the morning. The rest of this world could burn away to fucking ash and I wouldn't blink or care, but the thought of never seeing him again rips away at me like nothing else. I need therapy, gonna take a hell of a load of talking to get through this. I'm not a suicide risk so no worries there. I'm an atheist so this is the only life I got if I end at that, s it lol. Talking to my lawyer on the phone later and we'll be meeting up with Max's so again because apparently there's more I don't know. Got a doctor's appointment tomorrow and then 6 damn months of waiting for results. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for any future cheating stories.